A template wizard is just that, basically a template, a template for setting up a fax. So instead of creating one yourself, Microsoft has a template, and anything that has wizard on it means that it's going to ask you questions like who you want to send this fax to, what it's regarding. You type in your answers, and then it pulls all the formatting together into a form, including your answers or the results, and in certain fields that it looks nice and clean, and then you can go ahead and print it off. For example, to get started and use one of Microsoft's template wizards is clicking on the Office logo button, clicking on New. And then we're looking in the category here, Microsoft Office Online. Now, of course, if you don't have uh, access to the Internet, you won't be able to access the, these different templates. Now, you have templates mixed with template wizards in here. You can look at what they have featured, um, birthday cards, timesheets, brochures, just a huge array here. Uh, the one that I want to look at is agendas. And like I said, anything that has wizard next to it, that means it's going to ask you a bunch of questions instead of just giving you a form or a template here that you can obviously type over once you open it up. But a wizard's going to ask you questions before it will let you access the form. So anything that has wizard, I can double click on it. And then it's going to say, look, these templates online are only available to Microsoft uh, registered users here or who have genuine Microsoft Office products. So if you don't have it, you can't get access to it. So I'm going to click continue. It'll download the template from Microsoft online and give me my wizard. So Here's all the steps here. It's going to ask me questions about my style, details, what I want, my headings of this template. And then when I'm done and I get down to the end of finish, or I can you know, click finish here, it's going to take the form that it has or this template and take all my answers and dump them in, in the corresponding fields within the form. And hopefully it'll look nice. And you'll see the template once we're done. Of course, you can make your own changes. It's certainly not locked down. So you can either click next to begin the wizard, and it takes me to the style it highlights in green. Or I can click back, or I can just click style, or skip ahead to headings. But we'll go back to style here. And it gives me what type of style do you want for your agenda. You can't really see it's a print preview, but just an overall layout. Do you like boxes, modern, standard? I'm going to stay with boxes and click next. And then what's the time, date, title, and location of your meeting? Automatically puts in today's date. All you have to do is if you don't like the time, type in it, uh, your time. And it already remembers my previous fields for our previous agenda, which is nice. Uh, donut meeting is the title. Donut location is a donut. Uh, maybe it's the donut shoppy. And then click next. Um, which headings do you want to include? The type of meeting, please bring, and then have a heading there in the form. So below that, I can type in information or print it off and write in the information, whoever's taking the notes. Also include the type of meeting. Click next. Which names do you want on your agenda or in this form that you're about to create? who the note taker is, the observers, everybody who's watching us eating the donuts, and then click next. And then agenda topics. Now we already have a few down here that it remembers for my last agenda. The texture of the donuts, the donut shops, if you want to add your own agenda, and it will put it in there, things that you want to discuss about during your meeting. Minutes, maybe we want about 45 minutes for Bob and click add. And then you can move them in order of importance like this one. The color of donuts is the most important, so we'll move it up a couple of times or maybe move it down in the middle. And of course, we can always remove things that aren't as important by clicking on the remove button. But when I'm finished, I'll click next. And do you want a, a, basically an area where you can record minutes, where you can either type it in or you can just print it off and write them in? When I'm finished, I can click finish now. I mean, the next step is finished, so if I click next, it tells me I'm done anyways. Click finish and there we go. Again, this is a template that Microsoft created and all we had to do is answer the questions it asked us for it to put it in its corresponding or appropriate fields here. I mean, there's the date of the meeting, there's the time, a donut shop, and then these fields here, like the meeting was called by who, you can either do one of two things. You can either take this form that it just created, save it and email it to somebody, whoever's going to be typing in the notes, or you know, type it in yourself who called the meeting, me. Uh, type it in, or you can print it off and just, you know, write it in by hand here. Uh, anyways, the, the whole point of the wizard is a answering the questions. I, I can't control the form of this until after I go through the wizard, and then I can come in here and delete tables, delete text. There's our agenda topics up at the top, the most important to least important down below, and then act place where I can actually discuss about texture of donuts here or the color of donuts and scroll down to the next page to finish up with the donut shops to visit in 2008 and type in who the observers are. Yeah, he's an observer. In any case, you can make changes once it's done, but at least it's a quick way of setting it up in a nice looking format by using Microsoft Word's templates and wizards being that it'll ask you questions and you give it answers. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.